Julie Howe, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my potty training must-haves. These were the things that helped me get through potty training, and I just thought I would share them with you. If you haven't seen my How I Potty Trained My Kid video, I will link it below so you can go and watch that. Um, I'm very proud of my kid, and I tell him that all the time. But let's get into what were my must-haves for potty training my toddler. So the first thing is definitely lots and lots of underwears. We kind of collected them throughout time. I bought them when he was really young on sale. I bought them and let him choose the different characters, which was a really big help because he really wanted to wear the underwear that way. I also bought like a few packs of training pants, which have like a thicker material in them. So if they do have an accident, if it's like a small one, it doesn't come through and get all over their clothes, which was really nice for a few times, especially for poop. Definitely, definitely a lot of underwear. <laughs> a lot of cleaning supplies. Lysol wipes were definitely our favorite, especially with a boy. Aim is a big issue. <laughs> Having flushable toilet wipes ha have definitely been wonderful. And these are great because then you can make sure that your kid is clean, flush them down the toilet <laughs> and be done with it. My to-go must-haves would be Ziploc bags, trash bags, extra clothes, extra underwear, extra wipes, anything you can think of. And these were so great to have. I had a basket in my car with all those things and I had extra clothes in my purse a Ziploc in my purse because you just never know when your kid's gonna have an accident while you're on the go. You wanna be able to put the clothes somewhere and you don't wanna be stuck without a Ziploc or a bag of some sort to keep it all in. But trust me, um, wiping your kid's butt in a parking lot is something that really reminds you to be prepared. <laughs> Another really helpful thing that, that was just more reassuring for me to have was a pee pad. Pee pads are awesome for the car seat because your kid is in there and when you're doing potty training and they're in underwear, you don't wanna to have to worry about them messing the car seat and then having to take it all apart and wash it and everything like that because it's just such an ordeal. My sister-in-law actually had a washable one in her car seat that she like cut in half. I think it was like a, a, an adult pee pad. I don't know what they're called, but you know, like how they have in the hospitals and she just cut it to the size of the car seat so that she wouldn't have to worry about her daughter having accidents in her car seat. And I thought that was such a genius idea. And then I read somewhere, I wish I could give credit to this person to try dog pee pads, which I was like, this is genius. You can just throw it away when it's done. You know, no big deal. Totally works. And the best place to get them are the Dollar Tree because I looked it up online and it can be very expensive to buy dog pee pads. But at the Dollar Tree you get four for a dollar which is insane in comparison to other places. So these worked really great until my kid started to pull them apart and we stopped using them. If you can try them and see if your kid won't, if you try it or buy the, the reusable ones because this is just such a genius idea then you don't have to worry about your car seat um, getting all messy. Definitely, definitely prizes and sticker charts are were a must-have for us. We had little prizes for going pee in the beginning. We had a continuous sticker chart, like I mentioned in my potty training video. It just makes it a little bit more exciting. Poopy prizes were a really big thing. The Dollar Tree is a great place to go for those, but really just getting them excited to go to the potty is so helpful. And then praising them and rewarding them when they do. Oh, also our step stool and our toilet seat have been amazing things for us, but it's basically a kid seat that folds down, a stool of any kind to make sure that they can reach is huge <laughs> because with a boy, if they can't reach, it, their aim is not exactly in the right direction. <laughs> what were your must haves for potty training your kids? And if you haven't yet potty trained your kids, what are your plans on what you're gonna do? Let me know in the comments and let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That way you'll be notified of every new video I put up on this channel. Um, I guess that's all and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.